Most viewers of my channel will likely have a relatively tidy network at home, and accordingly, a lot of devices that somehow connect to the network, perhaps even multiple access points at home, or even their own home server. Accordingly, it is all the more important to have a reasonably stable and, above all, fast network. This is extremely important for me because I work a lot with my NAS, have some files stored on it, and also use several network cables for different nodes. My network is set up in such a way that I have a server cabinet in the office to which almost everything is connected. From there, there is a network cable that leads to the back of my office, and through a switch, several devices are directly supplied with network connectivity, such as a printer, and also the bedroom. This means that the traffic between my server cabinet and this switch is extremely high. Accordingly, it has happened more frequently in the past that I have reached the limit of the one gigabit connection, which is, of course, very, very impractical when you want to do other things in the network simultaneously. Accordingly, it has been a long-standing dream of mine to try out 10 gigabits. However, to be honest, it always seemed too expensive for me, and it wasn't urgent enough to invest in larger hardware. But I have always kept an eye on it and waited for the moment when 10 gigabits would be at a price point that makes it worthwhile for me to switch. And by now, I would say that point has come. It is precisely because 2.5 gigabits, which is at least 2.5 times the speed of 1 gigabit, is becoming increasingly popular that I would say, in general, the prices for networking equipment have shrunk a bit. And so I came across this switch here on Amazon, which is very, very attractively priced, offers 10 gigabits, and provides all the other ports with 2.5 gigabits, making it extremely practical for the future as well. Of course, I ordered everything right away and even in multiple copies. I want to install it all together with you and tell you about the advantages, as I can imagine that some of you might be very interested in how to implement it and, above all, how to connect 2001 devices to the whole setup. I'll show you everything else after the intro. Have fun! First of all, I would like to show you the complete range of parts that I have ordered here for this video. First of all, I ordered a few SFP modules, which simply convert the network into regular network cables, because the switches I have here are called 2.5G switches, but each has two 10 gigabit ports. This is what it looks like. We have four 2.5 gigabit ports and two 10 gigabit ports that we can use with the corresponding SFP modules. The advantage is that we can connect the important devices that require fast internet to the fast ports. Of course, we can also connect multiple switches with 10 gigabits, and the devices that do not require such a fast network can be connected via the 2.5 gigabit ports. Thus, we are definitely saving quite a bit on costs, as a complete 10 gigabit switch would obviously become extremely expensive. We have the whole setup here twice, and so that it can ultimately be connected to a computer that does not yet support 10 gigabits, I also bought a PCI 10 gigabit card that we can use. At the other end is my NAS, and what is special is that, unlike many videos I've seen, we don't have a lab setup where we somehow use a switch and connect everything to it. Instead, we have a real setup where the cables are distributed a bit here, so we actually need several switches to distribute everything around the room. Lastly, to be able to use everything on my laptop as well, I ordered a 2.5 gigabit network adapter. And the reason for that is simple. I don't need such high speeds on my laptop. Two and a half gigabits are more than enough, and we still benefit from the 10 gigabits, in that the link to the switch operates at 10 gigabits. So I would say, let's start implementing this. First of all, in the server cabinet, because that is, as mentioned, the main hub. Here we will first install the 10 gigabits and simultaneously integrate my home server so that it runs on 10 gigabits. Now that this, and actually the main point, is accomplished, we will start with the second node and upgrade it to 10 gigabits as well. So, here we are directly at the second switch. This is where the network comes in, which is output from the UDM. We need to exchange this now, so the switch here from 1 gigabit to this switch here with 10 respectively, 2.5 gigabits. I'll just plug this into the power here, then here. Done. And now we need two SFP modules again, to connect the 10 gigabit ports. And after the two SFP modules are connected, we just need to connect them to the network coming from the UDM and then to the network going to my computer. 
And now the 10 gigabit card comes into play, which we need to install in the computer here. For that, I need to turn it off briefly. So, and after that, we can also unpack this part here. This is what the card looks like. And we can now install it here. Now we close the panels again. And then we just need to plug the connector from up here into the 10 gigabit port down here, and then we can turn the PC back on. Finally, we obviously need to test everything as well. For this, we will simply copy a file from my computer to the server as a standard procedure. As you can see, we are not fully utilizing the 10 gigabits, averaging about 2.5 to 3 gigabits. And here the question remains, why aren't we fully utilizing the 10 gigabits? This could be due to several reasons. On one hand, it depends on the server's hard drive speed, and on the other hand, it also depends on the server's CPU. So, if I now copy something from my computer to the server at 2.5 gigabits, I still have enough bandwidth left to supply the entire rest of the house with the network. This way, my file transfers are always at full speed. And theoretically, it would also be possible to upgrade the home server in the future with a stronger CPU or a faster hard drive to further maximize the speeds. If you are also interested in upgrading your network, feel free to check the description. I have linked all the parts that I ordered. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments. And if you don't want to miss such content anymore, please click on subscribe. I would be very, very happy to improve this statistic a bit. Otherwise, I would say see you in the next video. Until then, take care, have a good one, and goodbye.